Hey everybody, I'm here today with a 2009 Honda Civic SI Coupe and I'm going to give you a full review of the car. I'm going to show you the exterior of the car, the interior, the engine bay, the trunk compartment. I'm going to start it up, I'm going to rev it for you and I'm going to give you a, an unbiased, honest opinion, an objective view on the car itself. So first we're going to take a walk around the car, we're going to take a look at the back end of it and the thing that is unique about the 09 SIs as compared to the uh, 09 non SIs are um, the muffler right there, the muffler tip and the spoiler. Those are on the SIs and are not on the non SIs. Obviously unless someone asks for it uh, custom done by the dealership. Also these rims right here come on the SIs and they don't come on the non SIs unless of course once again they ask. You can also get a uh, set of Honda factory performance rims for the car um, but those cost a little bit extra. So just taking a walk around the car. I'll get a side shot right over here so you can see the sleek ends, the sleek sides of the car. This car itself, this specific uh, vehicle, has a little bit of damage to the headlight and the fender. Um, so don't think that it looks like that normally. Usually the lines are perfectly clean. But with this specific vehicle, uh, there was a little bit of damage there. We'll take a look at the front right over there. Nice shot. Very, very nice grill. Obviously with the SI logo and emblem right there. And we're going to just continue taking a look around the passenger side of the car right over here. So you can get a full shot of the side. Very, very good looking car. Nice rims. The um, one negative thing about this car itself, the 09 SI Coupes, is the fact that the mirrors don't fold in. So that's a downside, but you know, it does give it a little bit of a sporty look as opposed to the folding mirrors, which you know, is more of a, I guess a non-sporty look. So we're gonna actually take a look uh, at the engine compartment. So I'm gonna use the key fob right here, which is very standard, lock, unlock, trunk, and panic, to unlock the doors. And we're going to pop the hood of the car. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. I'm going to reach right under here and if you take a look, there is the hood uh, symbol right there. Pull it and the hood should pop. So let's just take a look at the hood. Now the 09 SIs um, come with, and this is in the coupe and sedan versions of the car, they come with a K20 2.0 liter IVTEC dual overhead camshaft engine. It's got about 200 horsepower and it's pretty, pretty quick. And you will be able to hear it revving in just a minute. So if you take a look, very, very, um, I guess a small engine compartment. The engine actually goes back there. And um, you know, they fit a big, pretty big engine in a small car, so they had to pack it in. All right, we're gonna shut the hood. We're gonna take a look at the interior of the car as well as listen to it start up and rev. So if you take a look at the front seat, for a two-door Civic, it's pretty spacious. The back, not so much, and I'll take you back there in a minute, but the front is pretty spacious. So I'm gonna hop in here, and I'm about five foot nine, and I'm a pretty husky guy, and I fit comfortably in the front seat. So, you know, they did a good job with the front. And um, all of the 09 SIs, both coupe and sedan, come with a six-speed manual transmission. You cannot even get these cars in automatic from the dealership, obviously, unless you get it custom done. All right, so uh, if you take a look, you have some steering wheel controls for the radio, for the cruise control, very nice dashboard with your tack, and then you have actually a digital uh, speedometer up there that you'll see in just one second. You have your radio over here with your vents, a lot of uh, storage, so you have space over here, over here, you have your cup holders over here, and then in each of the doors you have a uh, space down there, a big space down there, and then a little space right where the handle is. Alrighty. Now uh, you also, just on, on a side note, have a 3.5 millimeter um, uh, jack to connect an MP3 player to, and then your power outlet right here, 12 uh, volt power outlet. So let's start it up in here at Rev. Standard, so we'll push the clutch down, and obviously get the keys out. <laughs> start it up. And as you can see, the dash right there, the speedometer, is digital. So it actually looks fantastic and shows your speed in uh, digital. And you can change it with this button over here from miles an hour to kilometers an hour, all right? Very, very cool. So we'll hear this uh, two liter VTEC dual overhead cam engine rev. Let's listen to it rev with the door open. And it, it obviously sounds absolutely awesome. It's got a fantastic sound sounds great and, and the pedal is really really responsive really responsive 
and uh, it only revs to about five and a half thousand RPMs when it is at a standstill but when you're driving and I've just done this so I know it's possible it goes all the way up to 8,000 RPMs all right before it redlines it's a fantastic powerful car all right we're gonna shut it down we're gonna take a look in the back seat so I'm gonna head around to the other side of the car because uh, you know I don't want to mess up the driver's uh, seat setting so we're gonna head on to the other side once again I'm gonna make sure it's unlocked we're gonna open the door and to get the seat to jump forward you have two options you can either pull up on this if you're outside of the car in the front or you can push down on this either one will do the same thing so I'm gonna pull up and the seat jumps forward by itself really cool and pretty spacious you know I can definitely hop in here pretty easily as you can see and I'll just get right in so it, it's pretty spacious even with the seat completely back I have you know that much knee space in front of my knees and like I said I'm about 5'9 and you know the back seat is pretty good lots of room back here for the most part even headroom I'm 5'9 I have I would say a full inch inch and a half on top of my head and beside each of this outside seats in the back seat you have this little cup holder and storage area so I'm going to get out from back here and I'm going to show you the trunk once again I can push this from back here and that will send the seat forward pretty cool you know, Honda did a, did a good job with regards to that. And once again, pretty easy to get out. We're going to go to the back of the trunk with the key fob. I'm gonna hold down the trunk button. It's gonna pop open just like that. And if you take a look at the trunk space, you will actually be surprised because there is a ton of trunk space. It is actually fantastic. There's a lot, a lot of trunk space, all right? So you can fit tons of groceries in here. You can fit, you know, even if you, you have building supplies, you know, I put a, a lawnmower in here. I actually use this car to transport a lawnmower one time. So, you know, there's a lot of space. You might have to leave the trunk lid open, but you can fit a ton in here. It's absolutely massive. Just take a look at that space. It's huge, huge. So they did a great job with regards to that. And uh, that's basically all that there is to this car. It's a fantastic vehicle. I gave you a full review, tour of the exterior, interior, engine bay, uh, trunk compartment, uh, showed you the features, started it up and revved it for you. And I hope that you've enjoyed this and you've gotten a, a completely, completely unbiased, objective point of view of the 2009 Honda Civic Si Coupe. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.